Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. Um, today's reading is inspired by some recent news. Um, so the uh, Venetian government, in their closing session, um, they voted against uh, taking action on climate change. <laughs> and the next day, Venice had the highest tide on record and uh, there was a great picture uh, you may have seen it floating around social media of the government chamber where that vote happened half full of water so um, I wanted to do a reading on on just that whole scene uh, their uh, their vote against climate change um, and the flood, I wanted to check in with Gaia and find out, you know, was that not a coincidence, Gaia? And so I did the main reading with the Wildwood Tarot. And I chose uh, the Bow Spread. Because this is one that gives you a really definite answer. And the placement of the cards are really significant. So I'm going to refer back to this a little bit as we talk. So the first card position is um, the initiator, which is uh, basically, that's me, the person asking the question. And we have the hawk messenger. So yes, I am a messenger. The second card represents the bow, the front of the bow. And what it indicates is the qualifications of the inquirer. So what are my qualifications? And <laughs> I got the seer um, in the regular tarot deck. This is the high priestess. So those are my qualifications. Then the third card is the conscious, called the conscious limb. So this placement talks about um, the analysis. What are people thinking? What do people think about this? What do they think about the situation? What is it that they're analyzing? And we got the, uh, the queen of bows uh, here represented by the hair. And I'm going to flip into that just a little bit. Um, So thank you for your patience here while I, wait a minute, I just passed it. That's what it is. Stones. No, I didn't. Ah, coming up on it. So, they, in here they talk about, you know, the, the hair is kind of un unpredictable, but um, also that it's... Um, you know, clever and quick, and it um, is a fertility symbol. It represents success in business, um, but also, like, peace offerings. Um, also, uh, helpfulness, helpfulness, courtesy, um, understanding. So people are thinking about it, um, and they're thinking about, you know, how it's relating to success in business. The spiritual limb, the bottom part of the bow, we have the knight of bows or the fox. So again, um, fox appeared in an earlier reading with this deck <clears throat> that I did, the, uh, the world tree. And, but in this position, um, this is about, so the spiritual limb, um, it's people's feelings and their beliefs, their spirituality, their cosmology. Um, so the fox here, of course, is all about, you know, being clever, um, but leaving old ways behind, um, changing directions, so 
the way people are people are feeling and they're leaning into their spiritual practices um, for you know they're recognizing the change you know we've done the analysis we've seen where um, success in business has taken us and so now we need to change direction The fifth card is the string, and the string, of course, represents um, the, the main energy, the momentum that is going um, around the issue, and we have the Ten of Bows, which is burden and responsibility. We have a, a huge responsibility regarding climate change, um, and obviously the Venetian government shirked theirs, and look what it got them. Hmm? The sixth card is uh, the fletchings, right? So the back end where the bow, where the arrow connects to the string, and so it's the um, it signifies the balance point. And we got the woodward. So the woodward in. Um, Celtic myth and le legend is the guardian of the forest. Um, he signifies um, noble protection. Um, he is incomplete and so it's perfect for this for this spread to get this card is a very good thing. So he is the divine masculine in perfect balance. Um, on his there the artwork in the card there's all kinds of divine, classic divine feminine things uh, sketched into his tools and his dress. Um, he wears a mountain lion skin and a lynx is his companion. So he has mastered his will and his emotions and he is in balance. And he is, he is here to be the protector. And then the arrowhead, or the point of it all, eight of arrows, struggle. This is our outcome. This is the outcome card. And, <clears throat> but I want you to take a really close look at this card. So there's struggle, but she is also overcoming that struggle. She has a torch that lights her way. And then I wanted to read just a little bit out of the book on this because there was a, a very powerful message and um, in regards to struggle. Okay, so in the darkness of failure, <laughs> kind of where we're at now. The burning torch of hope remains lit in the human soul and encourages struggle. Courage is needed to survive the storm. So the choices we're f faced with can be painful and stark. The path may appear fraught with unfamiliar obstacles and pitfalls with no obvious remedy. And it does. It looks like we're just sinking down, you know, um, hundreds of walrus die every day because there's no sea ice. Um, same thing with uh, all, all of the, all of the megafauna is dropping dead. Elephants are dropping dead from thirst in Africa right now. Um, so this is, these struggles are profound. And they're personal uh, because we, you know, feel so powerless. And so what's required is that we need to stay calm. We need to be recisive and we need to be resolute in our action. We need to reach down to the very core of our being and summon all of the reserves of our courage and wisdom. See, honestly, what the issue will require to resolve and present those who might be a party to the problem with an implacable and unyielding dedication. 
unyielding dedication. View this necessary sojourn with clear eyes and a resolute heart, for to overcome these tests of, of life will make us stronger. So then I wanted to get um, a couple of clarifiers, and I used the uh, a couple different versions of the Lamor. Lenormand deck and the first one this is a new deck I just got and I just absolutely love it so this is uh, the Lenormand deck based on fairy tales so the first qualifier that I did and on the Lenormand they do uh, what they call a fan spread um, so the bottom card is the central issue and then the three cards above represent the fan, or the folds of the fan, and um, just give more information. So when I asked for more information about the Queen of Bows here, we got for the handle, the tree card, this is Karma. And then our fan, Fox, Deception. We've been deceived. Karma is coming. <laughs> Karma is coming for the deception that has threatened our home and our community. So this relates to the analysis that the people are, are doing right now. People are waking up. People are realizing holy shit, we're about to pay the karmic debt for our greed for success in business where we have threatened the very home and communities on the planet we live. Um, next I asked for clarifiers on um, the fox and the uh, spiritual limb. So the handle, we have the sun, and the interpretation on this in the in this deck is pretty much the same as the sun card in a regular tarot. Um, and then the fan cards. The girl, child, innocence, play. And then both versions of the lady. The princess and the peasant. So it was like all, all of the forms of the of the goddess. So that spirituality that people are leaning in on, <clears throat> they're looking to for to the rise of the divine feminine to come in and guide on this change of direction. We need a change of direction away from the patriarchal business as usual way of doing things. The military industrial complex gone. And their peace offering, I don't think it's going to be enough. <clears throat> Next, I ask for qualifiers on uh, the Woodward. And this just uh, really blew me away. So uh, at the handle, we got the bear. And this is like every aspect of maternal mother goddess all wrapped into one. So the, the bear is, you know, always on earth the most powerful mother symbol that there is. So the Woodward in his perfect balance, so he is the bearer. But then in the fan cards, so first, first out, heart, our passions, what we love, bouquet, our joy, 
So everything near and dear to us. But then the mice. And in the Lenormand system, mice, that's a bad card. <laughs> that means deceit. It means thievery, big time thievery. And the feeling that I got from it was um, <sighs> mother is afraid. Guy is uh, the divine, the uh, divine feminine is afraid, is very afraid of thievery, that something is going to be stolen from us and deceit and lies. So um, the Lenormand deck is small. It's only 36 cards. And so I was, the deck was getting skinny. And so I went to um, my other version of the Lenormand deck and asked for a clarifier on my clarifier. And this is kind of ominous and a little scary. So the handle, we get the rider. So she's a messenger. She's coming with a message. Next out, the dog. Loyalty, trustworthiness, our best friend. But next to the dog is the clouds. And the clouds, just like the mice, in this deck, the cloud card is bad. You don't want the cloud card. That's confusion, um, misunderstanding, bad communications, turmoil. And significant in the readings, so if you look at the cloud card, you'll see in the top right corner is white fluffy clouds, and in the lower left corner is the dark stormy clouds. So whatever card is next to the gray clouds, this is the warning. So whoever it is that we think is our best friend, somebody that we trust implicitly is not. And then the third card, pff, the letter, secrets, um, paper trails, communications, written documents, So, what Mother fears is that someone that we mistakenly trust is going to deceive us on all of this. Um, <clears throat> bottom of the deck cards were also very interesting from uh, the Wildwood Tarot. Bottom of the deck. We had Ace of Bows, the spark of life. So really, this climate change issue is not a joke. Um, literally, the spark of life rests in our hands regarding this. Um, from the fairy tale, Lenormand, stars, wish upon a star, wish upon a star all of our dreams, all of our fantasies. Bottom of the Celtic deck, the house again, home, security, our inheritance. Um, so I wanted to close with a couple of oracle cards. Um, so I also have Another new deck. This is um, the Messenger Oracle. And I am so loving this deck. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. And the first card, Know Your Fears. Um, and for that to come out right after this um, 
very powerful and rock solid advice. Thank you, Mother Gaia. Yes, we need to know our fears. We need to be very clear eyed. So coming back to the the Woodward. He's in total balance. He's in total control of his emotions. Complete balance with will and emotion. Neither one rocks the boats. And then a second card came out on the oracles, which is a message we need very much right now. Believe in magic. Believe in magic and 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 I'm here to tell you it's true. And if you just think about this reading, you know, my decision to use the Wildwood deck and do the bow reading and to have these cards. This is me. This is me. I'm your girl. I'm the messenger, and these are my qualifications. Um... And then the reason I went ahead and made this into a video, I did this reading initially just for my own curiosity. But at the bottom of the deck on the Oracle card was share your thoughts. And so I took that as a, um, a kick in the butt. I haven't made any videos in almost a week. It's like, come on, you want to be a YouTuber? You need to make videos. So anyway... Thank you so much for watching. Um, really appreciate it. And uh, any comments that you have, I would be love. I would love to hear from other readers on um, you know any other intuitions that you got watching this. And down below in the description box is my Patreon link if you would like to help support the channel and what I'm trying to do here. I will be making videos regardless because I know. Um, even as difficult as it is to get views in the new, uh, kind of, uh, too bad for you algorithm that, uh, YouTube has put out favoring all things corporate. Nonetheless, I know that just doing this reading, I have shifted the energy in the quantum field and the ideas and the messages will reach the collective. It would reach it a lot faster if other people watched the video. So please like, share, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in my next video.